This is Tom Goki with Orthopedic Educational Services. Today we're going to talk about slipped capital femoral epiphysis. The slipped capital femoral epiphysis, or SCIFI as it's more commonly referred to, is the most common acquired hip disorder in adolescence. It occurs in boys more often than girls and usually occurs in the ages of about 10 to 15 in girls and 12 to 16 in boys. Patients are usually heavier and it is commonly seen around a recent growth spurt. It can occur bilaterally and if it does, it affects girls a little more frequently than boys. Causes are primarily idiopathic, but there are other factors that can contribute to the development of a slip capital femoral epiphysis, such as trauma, obesity, inflammation, and endocrine disorders. The pathology, simply put, it occurs because of a separation between the femoral neck and shaft in relationship to the secure femoral head. Clinical presentation. Most of these patients will present with anterior thigh or groin pain. They will have a limp and at some point will report being able to weight bear but progress to being unable to weight bear because of their pain. On physical examination, you'll notice a gait abnormality such as a limp. Specifically, they'll have some range of motion limitations and hip flexion and internal rotation. And often they'll no you'll notice when they lay supine on the examining table, their foot will externally rotate. So as you see here on this x-ray, the AP pelvis looks essentially normal. You can see the well-positioned femoral head in relationship to the neck but it's on the lateral or frog lateral view that you notice the abnormalities. And as you can see here, the femoral head is in good position, but there's a slippage or mismatch between the femoral head and the neck and shaft. Treatment options. Here, the initial treatment option is early diagnosis and orthopedic referral. Typically, these folks will require surgery to stabilize the physis and the neck. And postoperatively, they will have to be limited or partial weight bearing for up to six or eight weeks, depending on physician preference. Complications associated with SCIFI can be degenerative arthritis, avascular necrosis, a varus deformity to the hip, and chondrolysis. So, our question for today what x ray finding would you expect to see in a patient who has slipped capital femoral epiphysis? If you know the answer to that question, go to our webpage, www.orthoedu.com, and give us your answer in our Contact Us section. For Orthopedic Educational Services, I'm Tom Goki. Have a great PA week.